This video is about the URAD Monitor project. The URAD Monitor is a global network of interconnected radiation detectors. But what is radiation? This old watch you are seeing is radioactive. Its dials and digits are covered with radioactive paint, containing radium, a radioactive element and a phosphorus. This paint emits a dim green light visible during night. Don't believe it? Here is a dosimeter. A device that can detect and measure radiation. The clicks you're hearing are radiation events. The dose is actually high enough to trigger the alarm. To detect radiation, this dosimeter uses a Geiger tube. The Geiger tube contains two electrodes and a gas mixture at a low pressure. When the radiation intersects the tube, a very small Electric current can be detected across the electrodes. This is how the device counts the radiation events, actually counting the electric pulses. Depending on its nature, radiation can penetrate matter, also our bodies. By doing so, it can damage some of our cells. This is why it is important to keep an eye on radiation sources and be able to measure them properly. But what is your monitor? The URAD monitor is nothing but a digital dosimeter, equipped with a network interface. Using a microcontroller, it can measure the radiation and send the results to a centralized server. These detectors are low-power interconnected autonomous detectors that run on their own without an external computer, sending the radiation data to a server via the internet. Having them spread across the globe gives us a clear indication on the background radiation levels. In case of nuclear incidents, the influence of weather factors such as rain or wind responsible for spreading contaminated particles becomes easily visible. To run a unit, you only need a regular 5 volts power supply and an Ethernet cable to connect the URAD monitor to your home internet router. The device will get an IP automatically and start sending data on its own. No other settings are required. The URAD monitor project is already functional. You can see the data from various stations across the globe on www.uradmonitor.com. Thanks for watching.